Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. You're back up with myself, Mainstream, on Upfront, and my boy, my favorite co-host, Sis. Big Sis, by the way. And today we have none other than your oof, articulate, majestic, ma'am, Sinatem by Lajamini. How are you doing? Who holds down radio, guys? Local radio. Thank you so very much for coming through. How are you doing? Now I know how, pa- how visiting pastors feel. You know when they're there, and like, this man of God has been responsible for the move of God. The and then you do the whole thing, and you're like, oh, I'm like, shut up. And, if you're, and if, you're standing, if you're standing, you do this. You do, you do the whole, and you're like, nah, praise Jesus. <laughs> you know, praise team, praise team, come back. <laughs> The worship team, worship team. Okay, so I'm a church girl, so that, that, that that's know, naturally my okay. gravity. Thank you guys, thank you guys for having me. Thank I'm so me. excited to be here. Oh man, I'm excited to have you actually. I'm, really? oh, I'm excited to have you. Um, first time I met you, I think we were in the corridors. Um, Tino was doing his internship. Um, colored guy that I'm not sure if you actually remember him. He was doing his internship at the local radio station and he was moving about so. I had come to see him and I found you. You were just about to read the news. Mm-hmm. And you're like, no, I'm a news journalist. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. I meet such people and I'm not, why? Why like, are you not excited? Like, why? this is me. <laughs> this is me in the near future. So that, that um, yes, I am definitely happy. And thank, thank you so you. very much. Actually. Thank you. That's very kind. I, I, I love my job. Mm-hmm. I do love my job. I think it's a very important job. Um, the media is very important. Okay. It's very important. I think for me, the most important thing about the media is that uh, what we do is we hold a mirror up to society, uh. you know, to actually show you this is who you are. Mm-hmm. Therefore, with this mirror that we're showing you, you need to swallow it mm-hmm. and do some serious introspection. Eesh. Do you like what you see when you pick up a newspaper? Eesh. You know, because it's, it's just merely a reflection of who you are. Uh-huh. That's basically what we do. Let's get right to it. Gus. Uh, <laughs> so we must pretend like we were not having a hopeless... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, do not. I'm tired of pretending. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, a couple of days ago I hit you up. Um, I think I hit you up on the 16th or 17th. Yeah. Um, and um, it was uh, with regard to your status update on Facebook. What happened to you on Twitter? I we for- need you. I you forgot, forgot your I password. I forgot my passwords. It happens all the time. Like, <gasps> Damn, man. Yeah. Set it's, up an account. Age. It's age, guys. It's ah. age. I'm so think. young. I know, right? 25, and this is happening to me. I'm not <laughs> okay. okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't appreciate the giggles. Can I just say no. that I, I really don't appreciate no, the like, giggles? I mean, it's hard. But it's fine. Moving it's, swiftly along. It's, it's, moving, right, swiftly. moving swiftly along. Yes. She's my mother, by the way, so you guys must understand. This is my fib. Yeah, you know. Wait, you know, wait, guys, my name. Young. So you see where the confusion comes from now? I know a lot of us are confused. It's not just you. It's not just it's you. Happening it's the world. The world. Yeah, it's we're the world a, that we live in right now. So it's in the air right now. We're in a Times pandemic. Are <laughs> we are with, like we're in the, the middle. Pandemic. We're even expecting a second wave of so, the pandemic. Gee, so your yeah. confusion is nothing compared to the problems you are facing this as is a people. This going to be a very long episode. So, <laughs> 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 All right. On 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 a couple a couple of days ago, you put up a status, and I'll read it. Mm-hmm. Male privilege in a society uh, in a patriarchal society sponsored by women. Sponsored by women and fueled by religion. Hi. Um, and it touched the nerve. I will not lie. Like it's something that I'm reading something now. Yeah, and it says mm-hmm. through generations, women are conditioned to not only accept but to gladly embrace the status of being a second-class citizen. Mm. Um, and, isn't that by Chimamanda? Uh, who wrote this? Uh, feminism. Yes. In um, India. Okay, never mind. Uh, go on. Something like Sorry, that. pardon me. That's the name of the article or the mm-hmm. website that I'm reading from. So, um, it, 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 the, these words and that took me back to something that's very common in discussion, mm. you know, um, especially in our society, um, and the events of the last two decades. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> two weeks, whichever way you want to. <laughs> decades. <laughs> decades. Uh, so, um, uh, basically, um, the basis of our conversation is is male privilege yeah. mm. uh, and it's awkward coming from me because I'm a male and I think yeah, it's ne? beautiful coming from me because um, it's about time men mm-hmm. started the difficult conversations for men and women kick started the difficult conversations for women mm-hmm. because um, and also like aggressively because um, I personally get tired of how we hide behind 
our cell phones uh, and mm-hmm. not say our stuff with our chest. Mm-hmm. They were like, um, I'm not my tweet type of situation. I'm not my tweet type of situation. So a lot of people have so much that they they feel and there needs to be room for conversation. And mm-hmm. the basis of Upfront is to unpack. help start those conversations, go further and unpack mm. some of these conversations. Not to say that we're experts in what we're doing. We don't know. Like, if you, listen, just know the if you listen to a few episodes mm. of my personal podcast, like, I was clear in the introduction. Hey, James, no, I'm not done. I'm just a guy. I'm rec- figuring things as I go uh, along. Hey. I have recording equipment, so let me yeah. record. <laughs> <laughs> because That's a good place to start. Actually, yeah. I, yeah. I, I mean, because I couldn't start like you. And, you know, yeah, you don't be within the spectrum <laughs> listen you don't even know my history but anyway um you know i think i think for me that status update uh, came from i had a whole, whole lot more that i wanted to say but mm-hmm. because we live in a village i had to kind of pull Retract. myself towards myself um but fundamentally perhaps maybe let me give a bit of background in terms of where i come from like okay. i said earlier i'm a church girl yeah like i grew up in church i've served in church i've been the worship leader i've served in the executive oh hey yeah i've been the music director so like fundamentally church is 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 where Your I've foundation. always been. Yeah, yeah, you know? And I will say right off the bat, mm. if my pastor's watching, hi, I love you. Um, that said, I will say that I have unfortunately witnessed this firsthand. Mm-hmm. Um, I think patriarchy is so deeply entrenched in religion we're not even aware of it sometimes okay you know we just think we are doing the word and we are just walking in obedience and yet we are reinforcing a system that is oppressive to women okay um, a system that removes the choices or the realm of possibility of possibilities away from women Mm -hmm. you know and it's 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 very rife in church Mm. i could i could cite so many examples one that comes to my mind immediately is how I know of a lot of people who have had babies in church, mm-hmm. you know, out of wedlock, and uh. perhaps it's the worship leader, okay. you know, when she's female. Because now, for whatever reason, um, there is an unwritten rule book that says the woman must always wear the shame. Uh. She will be, ex- once she will be ex- excommunicated, uh. because now you can't, you've brought shame and disrepute. You're not fit for you know, that you're not, you're, now. You're not okay. fit for ministry now, and you must ah. publicly repent, you know. So you're going to go there, hormonal and stuff, uh-huh. and stand in front of the church and apologize, I'm so sorry. And you will find that in some, in some instances, mm-hmm. the father of the child is in the church. Maybe he plays drums, not reference to CJ. <laughs> I don't know. She's you guys are problematic. No, it's the keyboard players. Or, he, or he's the piano player, like ah, he's the so. keyboard like, players. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shame. You know, and you will find that the woman is expected to apologize for bringing shame and disrepute to the gospel. Uh-huh. And yet the male, for whatever reason, will be removed from this equation and he will continue to serve and to minister to the ah. church. It's male privilege. Uh-huh. Classic example. Uh-huh. You know, I could name so many other things. During women's services, um, on Thursdays, that's when women usually meet. Mm-hmm. And a woman will, you know, will bring to the fore that, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble with my husband. My husband is cheating mm-hmm. or my husband has done this and that mm-hmm. the leading narrative in the church will be one um, oh, wow. you know, a woman is responsible for protecting uh the image and the merits of of of, of her marriage and her relationship of the home, of the home you know so uh-huh. you can't be seen to be frustrated you can't be seen to be um thinking no nah, i'm done i can't do this anymore i'm leaving mm-hmm. you know the piece of advice that you're going to be given will be you need to be patient. You need to hang in there. You need to fast. You need to pray for him. You know, nobody's bringing in the elements uh-huh. of, I'm really hurt. I'm an equal partner. I should uh-huh. be an equal partner in this relationship. Mm. Nobody's going to be talking to you about the possibility of bringing HIV into the family. Nobody's going to be talking about the possibility of, by virtue of these men's actions, uh-huh. and now we have to um, rearrange the finances in the home because there's, now there's a child who's not from within my home all these dynamics they hit on the same person and it's usually the woman uh-huh. the man continues to enjoy privilege in some circles of uh-huh. the record he's actually even applauded Yo. you know because Yo. there's there, there's a culture of sowing your oaths such uh-huh. nonsense men you know. ego basically men ego it's male privilege that's why i say it's so deeply entrenched in our society because half the time you're not even aware of it mm-hmm. as a man because 
I always say that men are held to a dangerously low standard in our society. Uh-huh. It scares me to be raising a boy child eee. where the standards are set so long. Men uh-huh. don't men are not expected to do better and be better and behave better. Bare minimum. Know. Yeah. Bare minimum. You know, that's why we celebrate men who we see on Facebook holding their babies. Some will even say that they're babysitting children that belong to them. And they're like, oh, like a great father. What the hell? Whose child is job. this? It's your responsibility. Yeah. But because we are accustomed to a culture where men neglect their responsibilities, mm-hmm. when we see a man who does what they're supposed to be doing, we are applauding it. We are... We Gandhi. Are, we are literally a society that celebrates mediocrity because men are held to an abnormally low standard and something's got to give. Wow. This could be shorter than I thought. This could be shorter than I thought because you're getting all your things from the head. And the thought of is just going in. By the way, um, okay, she's already explained male privilege, right? Yeah. Now, I, personally, when I actually saw the post and we were actually doing our research, um, mm-hmm. There's two things that I want to touch on, right? Um, I want to touch on the whole living in the era of today. Would you call yourself a feminist and then why? And then number two, you mentioned, Gutsi, sponsored by women. Mm-hmm. That's, my, that's my one thing, Gutsi. How are we sponsoring it as women? Okay. Yeah. I will, I will, I will attend to the feminist part later. Please. Let me start with why it's sponsored by women. Okay. Right off the bat, I need to clarify that by virtue of circumstances, some Mm -hmm. women are really victims of circumstance when it comes to male privilege and patriarchy. However, that said, a lot of us women propagate and are at the forefront of keeping this machine running. And I think that is a difficult conversation that we need to have as women and girls as to how are we responsible, how are we um, actively participating in our abuse, you know, our abuse, the abuse of our sisters, of our sisters-in-law. I'm going to make an example. How do you propel this, it? Yeah, this Rahadi thing. I think mm-hmm. we all saw the video and this woman is yeah. there. It's somebody's, um, it was her brother's funeral. Mm-hmm. Just giving a bit of background for those who, do, who, who may have missed it. It's, it's, it's her brother's funeral and Rahadi, who is the aunt, is mm-hmm. there giving remarks. I don't remember anything else that she said because I was blindsided by how she said, my brother went to the grave a very unhappy man. Yeah. He's, he was heartbroken because she brought a woman into my brother's house. The audacity mm. of it all, you know? And I know how people were like, no, but if the woman, if that's what she did, then that's very wrong. Mm. I don't care about the merits. Yeah. I care about the depth of her actions. If mm. she is bold enough to, say to that. publicly shame her sister-in-law eee. with the entire universe watching, you can only but imagine what happens behind closed doors. Uh-huh. Because you don't get that kind of boldness and jazz spirit mm-hmm. of the moment. It's something that And she was cust- fueled by anger and you can see yeah, it. Yeah, that's something that you're accustomed to doing. And I think us women are very guilty of these things. Mm-hmm. We are guilty as aunts when Cizwe is my brother and he brings a child on and I'm like, mm, born, ah, you know, as the aunts. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. what does this child mm-hmm. look like? Uh-huh. We are guilty. Uh-huh. We are guilty of the toxic advice that we give to other women. You know, somebody's going to come like to you. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, someone's, someone's going to come to you and he's like, he's cheating. And you're like, girl, women are like that. Men are like that. You know, just be his peace. Peace to a terrorist. You know, so I think, I think we're not even aware of just how how much we participate. Uh-huh. Even the ways that we treat men differently from the way that we treat we, women. Mm. Um, random example. We're mm-hmm. having a braai. There's girls and boys, you know, or wherever. Uh-huh. It's nice. Women will assume the responsibility of making pap, yeah. of making salad, of yeah. dishing up, and making kitchen sure duties. that... Yeah, kitchen duties, you know, because we're under pressure subconsciously yeah. to come across as a certain, you know, this is my six meters of wife material. Ah, you know, you can wife me, okay, you know, okay, and okay. we are constantly fitting uh. into the system of patriarchy. That's why I say why I say that it is fueled by women because we also are very, very much responsible for mm-hmm. keeping the status quo. You okay. know, we can complain and say, men are dogs. How dare he? But if the man is cheating with another woman, if it's another woman who is who is who has removed this man from his family unit, then mm-hmm. you're one to talk. 
Mm. So I could like I could make a million and one examples, you know. The woman will be the first to say that's very inappropriate. That's rather too short. You shouldn't. It's just you know, my dear, because the for world. For what good reason? You're though? constantly reinforcing things that are in your subconscious, things ah. that may have been passed to you, you know, growing mm. up in terms of socialization, in uh-huh. terms of things that you have read, and also um, from 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 the way that other people have been reprimanded. Okay, you know as well. I think also it's in our language in Jinjing and Maswati generally. Yeah. You know, when you say something that has weight and depth, mm. they will say, mm. Oh, yeah, true. You know, as if it's only men who only say men things that who, matter. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. when you're a bold woman, they will say, You know, uh-huh. you have testicles, you have balls. So basically, because we, we, we associate strength with men and weakness with women. with women. Don't be a girl about it. Listen here. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by women. Actually, I love how you say it's 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 embedded in our subconscious yeah, yeah. It reminds me of um the day i had my little accident outside yeah um, Saturday. <laughs> people are watching this and we're here i'm gonna laugh i'm gonna tell you after okay. <laughs> <laughs> things went down Thing went, yeah <laughs> so um we were having a bride like a conversation one of my baby sisters said um i don't i don't remember if i had pop i'll explain why i don't remember mm-hmm. but i don't remember i don't remember seeing pop so there was no pop but when we were still opening snacks and drinks and stuff like that, she says, We had to go to the house. We had to go to the house. And I was talking about how we have to go to town you know, or go find a butchery. She said, Yeah, maybe we can mm-hmm. buy a pup. Oh, okay, and, you know, okay, okay. Because honestly, like, we were, not about, we were not about to say, Let's cook, even if we had the time. <laughs> it's, we are supposed to be all together here. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a No bride. one must be removed. Uh, whoever's buying meat is being kept company. Mm-hmm. Where they're buying meat, but everybody is here. Generally one WhatsApp group, so you is, can't then yeah. say. Uh, we, I think we had how many uh, hands? We had three, four ladies, mm-hmm. and we can't then say you, 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 you go cook as I if, God. as mm-hmm. if you know. Um, and I, I noticed how it's it's something that we all expect. Like we'll see in Shogune social gathering, like you're saying, mm. the women must gather there Assume and position. cook. Yeah. The gents, the gents must go there and do the gents stuff, mm. you know. Um, <laughs> 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 All right, I will tell, I will not tell you my story, then it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lady, a couple, two, and a person, and I was like, oh, damn. You know, mm. it was it was strange to me because uh-huh. I was still being suffering the sauce. Nangu bona logo. That's from one from two. Hey, second time. Yeah. Hey. So that was like. from one from two. So um, when I saw that it was, it was very new, but now I'm older and I I I, I sort of understand the world differently. Like okay. I sort of have a different picture of how things are, and I think for me it's also dangerous because I was raised by a woman. Mm, okay. You know. Okay. Uh, so there are things that I must unlearn. You know, for instance, I always ask my mom not to dish up for me. And you wanting a baby girl. Me wanting a baby girl. Yeah. Do you understand? All of those things. If, if I were to be a father now, I'd rather raise a girl than a boy. You know. And be- she's afraid of the latter. And she's a- and you're afraid mm. of, me, of, of raising a boy, you know. Mm-hmm. And I understand where you come from. But now, let's move it, let's move it to the critical stuff. Fueled by religion. Hey. Now, I'm going to agree with you. According to Genesis 3, Verse 16. Let's get it on. God told Eve that the husband will be, oh, will rule over you. That's in the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of um, biblical scholars could argue with that and say it does not propagate patriarchy. And then you move right along into the New Testament mm-hmm. in Ephesians 5, 23. Where, let me just open my Bible. Uh, I need I need a soft copy of the Bible <laughs> in my phone. <laughs> yeah, so the, the the verse says for for the this, uh, for, yeah for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church hmm. himself the savior of his body. Now her being a church servant is now, that correct if I say it that way? Now okay. you with 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 this verse. Mm-hmm. Uh, having I met you for the first time in church. And by the way, she sings amazing. Yo I've you met, I've met, I've met, I've met you for the first time in church and you know, I've met you for the first time in church and 
as as we've explained everything about how patriarchy is also enforced mm. in mm. in by religion mm-hmm. and not just christianity but across all religions yeah. true um do you think before you continue mm-hmm. do you think that the fact that god in all religions mm-hmm. is envisioned as a man, man. Mm. Ah. do you think that is one of the primary contributing factors when it comes to the church because uh, if we all closed our eyes now mm-hmm. and thought of a god that will lead towards okay I, I think i think i i think i fall in the small percentile yeah. that, wa- <laughs> that that watched the shack and i was like that's my god because in the movie the shack god is a woman you know um so, but that's part of that percent <laughs> part of that percent yeah, actually so, but that's a story for another day um mm-hmm. yes to answer your question, yes, I do think that that, that is where it stems from. Mm-hmm. However, I feel like we have a tendency to to treat scripture or to pick and choose in scripture based on what it is that we want ah, from scripture. Okay. We don't we don't we don't view scripture holistically. Okay. For example, there is um right there in Genesis somewhere it says God created men he created them male and female yeah it's just the forming of the male that came first yeah. but when he created them you he know created mm-hmm. he created them equally and i think also we need to we we, we need to do some quality assessment here <laughs> okay number one the man who is expected to be head over the wife is mm-hmm. a certain kind of man he needs to have certain Qualities. Qualities and software. Speckless seed. It's not just a random guy, mm. you know, who is expected. But the challenge is that now every man, by virtue of his penis and testicles, mm-hmm. now assumes that I have dominion over the woman. Borrowed robes. It doesn't work that way, mm-hmm. you know. Um, with those rights come responsibilities. You have mm. a responsibility as mm. a man to work on yourself. You have a responsibility as a man to get your personal theology right. Mm-hmm. You have a responsibility as a man to get your money right. You have a responsibility I'm as a man. Yeah, I meant to my I'm oh, I meant to my. You have a responsibility <laughs> as a man to educate yourself, to learn and more importantly to unlearn mm. so that when you come into the marriage uh, and to the family uh, into the family space you are not passing on toxicity to your partner and to your children okay you know so mm. there's a whole lot of preparation that that th- th- that is preceded by you assuming the role you need to train for that role mm. you, you don't just qualify it uh, you, you don't you, you're not born into it you don't qualify uh, for the role simply j- by just being there's a lot of work male, that needs yeah, to go yeah. into you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not the random man that can be submitted to guys. Mm. I think that's why a lot of us that's are still dating. Hey. You know, because the Bible instructs the woman to submit to her husband. The husband is commanded to love. And it should be a certain quality of love. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, not this kind of love that is abusive, that is toxic, that is untitled. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, there's a whole lot of depth. There's a, there, there are a lot of factors that come into play. So I think, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think we really need to, we need to be honest about the quality of human beings that we are before we can even bring scripture mm-hmm. or tradition or religion or whatever else or, or however many schools of thought that we subscribe to, mm. you know, because everything makes sense in context. Uh, yeah. I actually yeah. wanted to ask, like, when she mentioned, Gutsi, as a woman, like, even with the guys you date, they will want you to actually submit to some type of, yeah, so we talk or tea there. And I'm just like, what? I so I wanted to ask Kutsi, submit to what? Please answer submit. and then you. Okay. Me, well, As a male. The well, Bible says that wives submit to their husbands. Okay. There is nothing in there about dating or I gave you money for hair or you've been spending a lot of time at my place. I really you don't qualify to Wives in this um, context. You know, you... you, you you need to be a wife. And I think, I, th- I think the thought process behind that was uh-huh. that um, I've always said to people, a man who hasn't paid a price for you will never know your worth. Mangabe awwatik fagal jazil shisa. Yeah. You know, you, you, yeah. you will never understand the gravity of the commitment that you are coming into mm-hmm. as a man. You yeah. know, yeah. because... Yeah. 
um, you haven't that sat is so, there. Whew. Yeah, you haven't sat yeah. there with her uncles. You haven't been interrogated. Mm. You haven't been told because this is a precious daughter. You uh. know, we love her. She always has a place here. You mm. know, if it's just that girl that you found here in Babane, you met at the mall or at the Millen or in church, and then mm-hmm. she suddenly starts coming to your place and Bangweni, and the suddenly worth, her words know, are we born? Even. You don't recognize her value as a person. So okay. therefore, you will feel entitled. You know, however, if you are this person's husband and you followed the right channel, Mm-hmm. you know then you will understand the sanctity and the depth of your responsibility towards this person hmm. so i think i think we should stop using scripture loosely mm-hmm. to just say no this is a relationship baby guess i teach out to kiss you know? yeah. or whatever else we 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 need to understand that this law was given to people who are subscribing to one a certain school of thought mm-hmm. two who are living in a certain way sure. holistically it's not isolated okay yeah do you, do you want to? No. As a man, I, 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 there was a, okay, the thing is, we had this certain topic. Mm. I think it was me and a friend of mine, Tina, right? And we sat there and we tried to actually analyze going through this thing as to, here we are, we are, both of us are within the dating stage, right? Mm-hmm. Here you are, you're trying to not. All of us, Kelly. <laughs> Yay. All of us. In fact, boom, boom, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh I felt that. I you felt. know what? In fact, boom, 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 Because I know very Ah, guys, I felt that. Wow, like to wow. the core. You, you just I'll within. I'll call you one. I'll call you one. It's kind of bad name. Felt that. It's like Jesus. No, come now. <laughs> can I move? All right. To answer your question, like, yes. all I can say is I can only amplify her words. Uh-huh. And, and until recently, and when I say recently, it's events of the last 24 months okay. in my life. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. 2018, part of it, 19, mm-hmm. and most of this year, mm-hmm. there were certain things that I learned that basically changed how I view things. And now, mm-hmm. I would rather say um, they, they, they're not submitting to, a woman should not submit to me just because I have a deep voice and a and a set of tools, mm-hmm. do you know, mm-hmm. and you know, like there are quite a number of things. Like mm-hmm. she said, me and Angelo, I that's why I said I would rather be the single guy that knows, bra, mm-hmm. you check, mm-hmm. than be. Say, you understand? Yeah. But than be um, the guy who's forever the broken nigga in relationships, or yeah. who's forever ah, okay. the guy breaking people. Mm-hmm. I yeah. hate using the N word. I should stop. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, because it, because they shut down another guy with this podcast in the N word. <laughs> so, 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 so for me, with the whole submission thing, it's mm-hmm. a bit tricky. And it goes back to what I said of, of record. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's also very important to have things to reference your things to. Yeah. Okay. And Whether male or female. Yes. Yeah. And okay. in my case, as a man, there really hasn't been much mm-hmm. at close range. Yeah. So everything that I know, I've learned from uncles that I meet, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and I've had to unlearn but certain things. Uh, mm-hmm. I've had to unlearn certain things mm-hmm. that I realized well, this was actually very toxic information, mm-hmm. you know, and yes. and I realized how much it's cost me and my peace in the mm-hmm. past, and I realized how much it may it, it definitely costed other people's daughters their peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, okay. So. That's why I can see it, the whole submission thing for me. I'm not even the right person to answer it because I haven't ticked mm. these boxes yet. You okay. know, I've been process, I'm and in you the process, understand that, and I understand that with myself. You know, mm. um, I always joke around with with my friends and some. Mm-hmm. And some of them, some of them smile at that expression, and I tell them because this is a joke, guys. Mm-hmm. I say this just to joke, to to clown around. Yeah. But to be honest with you, to set the atmosphere. I can't really shoot my shot and be honest about it because mm. there are things that I really need to unlearn and learn mm-hmm. right now, of which um, the is touched in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, um, and having been a boy who grew up in church, also mm-hmm. the those things that I must. You know, in church, in church, it's actually messier than we, than we, than we can ever Whew, imagine. Guys. You know, um, green leaf has please, nothing on church. Please, may I put a pin on that for both of you guys? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Like the, the with, 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 with things that I've seen in church also mm-hmm. as as a boy growing up and then moving from church into professional entertainment space yeah. and all of those things. The things that I've seen, you know, mm. I'll make an example about how I I run events on the side. Yeah. 
So um, do you know how difficult it is to put together uh, a performance sheet with artists, like a lineup mm-hmm. in Swaziland? In Swaziland? Do you know how hard Why? it is? Why is it so hard? Because you're going to make a list of women art, female artists and then you're going to make a list of male, male artists, artists. Male artists. Mm-hmm. and then you're going to start selecting who qualifies Wee. in terms of service delivery, talent, skills mm-hmm. and everything. But also you must be very careful not to disqualify someone mm-hmm. uh, and become the same fish at least like Nale. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I grew up in a space where they would rather have a Babel Soren saw as the head of the music department uh-huh. than Marga so and so when I was growing up. Mm. Basically, it goes back to patriarchy. But exactly. Yeah. It goes back to patriarchy. And we, socialization, and how you were socialized, ex- how, exactly. how when you were growing up, your reference point for leadership has always been male. male. Mm. You mm. know? Uh-huh. Um, and I think I was having this conversation with a friend of mine and I was saying that um, while we have a lot of women in leadership in Eswatini, we don't have nearly enough. Sure. Mm, because mm, I mm, think true. it's I think it's very important for young girls to to see modeled um, for them women who are the things that they aspire representation to become. You know, you should be able to you should be able to see yourself mm-hmm. um, 10, 15 years down the line by merely having a role model. And, and I don't think we have um, nearly enough of those women. I think also we need to invest in mentorship as a country for both girls and boys mm-hmm. um, because part of the challenge here and 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 it's one of the far reaching consequences of patriarchy and male privilege mm. is the fact that we have a lot of boys growing up without fathers they mm-hmm. are self taught men there is nothing as dangerous as a self taught human being because you have to figure it out as you go along yeah. and you're going to mess Child up and error. Uh-huh. yeah and you're going to mess up on a grand scale to mm. say that we have um broken boys living in men's bodies is a monumental understatement. Mm. And you only get to experience that in the context of a relationship with this person. You realize, you see, I, I am asking this person for literally something that they, they they don't have. They don't have the capacity. To give because, it to you. Yeah, to, they don't have the capacity to give it to you. Mm-hmm. I'm known amongst my circle of friends as the queen of breakups. Ah, Because, listen... You know. Standards. Listen. Uh, like So before you add her, recognize. You know, when I was younger, uh-huh. I was very I was I was very patient, I was very tolerant, I was mm-hmm. very accommodating. I would make excuses for you. Mm-hmm. You know, there's something very emancipating about growing older because you recognize that from a mile off, mm-hmm. you know, and you are no longer afraid to ask or to demand what is due to you. And if mm. you realize that I'm not going to get it here, you just sit the person down or in true Snetemba fashion, you send a Move long chief. WhatsApp text. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Why texting? Isn't that... Uh, it's complicated. But um, basically what I'm trying to say <laughs> is that... <I> guess. <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say is that it's very important for... for, for I like what Cesar said about learning and unlearning. Mm-hmm. And I think... Men need to disengage from ego. Ah, uh, okay. And strip themselves naked, mm. <laughs> pun unintended, <laughs> and look at themselves in the mirror. Do you like the man that you see in the mirror? Are you happy with the quality of men uh, that you are? I'm not talking about uh, how you flow, so much you uh-uh. You know, I'm not talking when about ourselves. that nonsense. I'm talking about you as a human being. Do you like the quality of human being that you are? Do you like how you treat people? Do you like your thought processes? Mm-hmm. Do you like the things that informs the decisions that you make, the quality of decisions that you make? Mm-hmm. Um, are you a worthy partner for a long-term invest? Can uh. somebody invest in you? Whew. I you think, know, I think I had too many no's to myself when I asked myself um, I had these so questions. Many with that. Uh, no, personally, yes. For, <laughs> like, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. I thought I knew who I was. Uh huh. You know, um, I think we said it earlier on with yeah. cyber. Yeah, we, we would say, um, we did. You think you know until there's that one trigger that hey. just does everything, man. And like, I remember when this year started, I felt lack of a better expression. I felt like shit. Yeah. You know, you know how you always feel like your walls are closing in on you. I had such an amazing year last year. Mm. You know, I had such an amazing year. Like it was for me, it was minimum effort 
Okay. Would be people that would come and ask me, how do you do this? And tell them, I don't know. Like, I just, but it must happen. It's minimum effort. And then when the year finished, when the year started, I felt like shit. Mm. And that triggered behavior, that, that brought about certain behaviors, you know, mm-hmm. certain, like, I was no longer, if, if you had met me for the first time last year, yeah. the person you'd be interacting with earlier on this year. It's far more different from, mm. from the person you would have met earlier, you know. Mm. So, it, again, it goes back to Goguzi. Uh, sometimes, for, for I think, speaking on behalf of Emma Jens, yeah. Emma Jens, I think it's high time, young or old, uh-huh. um, that we just sit down and figure ourselves out. Mm. Yeah. Because I've come to understand that we do not know nothing about ourselves. And because we are coming, we're coming from a society, like you said, where you've got uh, a lot of people, a lot of young men growing up in households where there are no fathers. They mm. even said to you, it's difficult to love you yeah. and now because I do not have so anything to reference, reference yeah. that yeah, love to true. you. Ch- mm. understand? Uh-huh. So, and it, it would be difficult for you to understand that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, imagine a situation of the people... I grew up in a house full mm. of women. Mm. So my uh, my model of leadership mm-hmm. is always umfat. Ah. It's always been like that. Because Even you've seen mom mm, hold it down. My hey, relationships are dysfunctional because of that. Mm. You know, are dysfunctional because I will always... Like, I've, I've, I've had or everyone I've interacted with say, you know, you must be a man and tell me what to do. And I tell them, no, man, you're a fucking adult, so you have your own choices. <laughs> I can't then wake up in the morning and be, and push you around to do things that I want you to do. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if if we're going out for lunch, I'm probably going to eat where you decide we're going to eat. Ah, you understand? Okay, okay. Because if I say, if I say, a, say KFC, like it or not, mm. I will now feel like I'm telling my mom. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, the, 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 <laughs> for me, what is coming across very strongly, just based uh-huh. on the example that you just gave, is the fact that also um, it speaks to the leading narrative that those women have grown up, up around mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. leadership comes in a male form. True. You know, mm-hmm. and thinking of a marriage or a partnership, thinking of a marriage as a leader and follow. And follow yeah, wow. not a p- dynamic. Yeah. It needs to be a partnership. Yeah. Okay. You meet me at a certain level. We complement each other. That's why I would never. I mean, as in a temper, I mean, say, oh, man, a guy who completes me the hell. What? I was completed in Jeremiah 29 11. Hey. Before hey. I knew you. You know, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb, and I have uh-huh. good plans, plans to prosper you. Uh-huh. I am a success story before I achieve anything. Prior to. You know, so uh-huh. fundamentally, that is who I am, mm-hmm. you know, and I think a lot of us go into relationships in order to find people who are going to fix the things that are broken with us because we're too damn lazy to put in the work ourselves. Uh, wait, sorry, with that being said, um, we have been so focused on the male's aspect of it because yes well male privilege Mm -hmm. now we had also touched on fixing ourselves holistically as human beings Mm. and you also spoke with see as a young person the dating pool for you right now totally different men right Mm. two different men so now as a woman yes we propel however now knowing yourself to that standard how do we then dismantle their male privilege okay first and foremost we need to understand that this is not a competition. Mm-hmm. We are not in war. Number two, we need to understand that we all are a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As much as we feel like um, men have things that they need to unlearn, True. we have things that we need to unlearn as, as well. Women. True. As well. You mm-hmm. know, the, there are certain things and themes that have been consistent um, in our conversations that we need to get rid of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like as in, as of yesterday. You know, um, but also, Lady Erica Padu. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we we really all need to put in the work. Uh-huh. You know, and um, I think we need to stop being entitled as well on some level as women. Mm. You know, you 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 don't qualify for a good life simply because you're pretty and you're well spoken. You need to mm-hmm. put in the work because a lot of us are toxic as well. I think I, I spoke about how we we are the ones who keep this machine running, mm-hmm. le, um, le patriarchy. Yeah, but mm. we need to recognize those those traits in ourselves and fix ourselves. Mm. Also, you know, and we need to start calling each other out Uh, as girls uh to say, no, 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 man, you're being abusive towards this man Mm -hmm. or you're being you're being unfair in terms of your expectations. Because I always say when I speak to young girls that 
for me, one of the most toxic traits to have as a woman mm. is to demand that someone offers you a lifestyle that you can't afford on your own. True. You know, because that then opens a, a door to so many other social ills. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the dynamics of a relationship have to be healthy and they have to balance. Mm. Don't put yourself in a position where you are going to be catered for and catered to he's paying your rent he's paying your dstv he bought you a codependency mm. you know mm. this is someone's son and then yeah. suddenly you want to have a voice and an opinion and rights how because you have you have positioned yourself um in a position of disadvantage in the whole equation entitlement yeah entitlement so it really needs to be balanced as mm -hmm. much as we're saying that men it, it's a certain quality of men that has to assume um, a certain role and mm -hmm. responsibility the same is true for us women mm -hmm. i think we need to redefine in a healthy context find out as a woman what's okay i'm broken in this area yeah for me for example um I grew up without a dad for a very long time. Mm. So I was drawn to men who are significantly older okay. because daddy issues. Okay. That's how my daddy issues manifest ah, in my relationships. Uh -huh. You, I, I would never give the time of day to a man who is my peer because it would be like, Hadlum Valona is going to waste my time. <laughs> the recent relationship proved that right, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> It's so very important uh -huh. to identify the places where you're broken so you can work on them so that you uh -huh. are a healthier and more wholesome person mm. going forward. That's mm. going to make you a better colleague. It's going mm -hmm. to make you a better sister, mother, um, lover, and, 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 and. Mm -hmm. So we just all collectively as a society need to swallow a mirror, do some serious introspection. What kind of a human being am I? What are my strengths? What, what are my weaknesses? What are my triggers? Triggers. Triggers. Goes back to what I said. Triggers. You I, would I, think. Yeah. You would think you're done. You would think ne you're done. Yeah, you would think day. you're done. Like um um I I I I I friends we recently moved out of home last year, ne? Yay. and we 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 talk with friends at the at, at, at our place called Sixer. You know, I tell them that you know I make the decision every morning when I wake up mm -hmm. that I am happy, regardless of what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the weird things, like the funny stories that I always come up with, they mm -hmm. happen when I'm alone because my energy is <laughs> right. And no one can actually testify to Very this few thing. people have seen some weird, like oxygen has been with. I think it's not oxygen engine, uh -huh. uh, oxygen's uh, artist, the rapper. Yeah, and I don't remember what happened. And he said, dog, these damn things really do happen around Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I there's, there's a magnetic field around you and this is just kind of gravity. I, I, I wake up in the morning looking for stuff that will make me laugh. I'm, I wake up in the morning having made the decision that I'm happy. But then uh -huh. I thought I was fine because I was like, my mojo was right, you know. Mm. Thingy, until. Mm. And I don't know what triggered me, mm. you know. I'll be honest. But I could feel that, you know, something happened that registered in my brain mm -hmm. and it's messing up everything wow. but now we need to wrap it up uh and they put them they stay it was very dangerous what i'm going to do right now um Help. someone wrote a tweet uh -huh. again mm -hmm. and said i wish they taught us how to be good husbands Ooh. like we stress women on how to be good wives Ooh. I think that sums it up very nicely. Male privilege. <laughs> I think that sums it up very nicely. Um, we need to do... I'm a mother to a 15-month-old son. Mm -hmm. And it scares me every day to watch the little boy grow up. Because I understand that um, there are things that I cannot teach him about being a man. Mm -hmm. It is only a positive male role, role model who can model those things to him. I think we need to redefine and um, and restructure how we raise our sons okay. and also how we raise our daughters. Okay. Um, the balance. Yes. I always say that I, in the context of a relationship, mm -hmm. you know, I am raising a boy who will become a man tomorrow who will be the answer to someone's prayers. Hey. Mm. He needs to be, Ongse Begele, that's my son's name, uh -huh. Ongse Begele needs to be name, the embodiment of an answered prayer. I think he's already done it with you being this way. Thank Dog. you. Ah. I still have a couple of years to go. <laughs> you know, he needs to be the embodiment of an answered prayer in whatever space that he enters into. Mm. If he's at 
in 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 his role as a friend, he needs to be an answered prayer. Mm. In his role as um, a colleague at work, he needs to be an answered prayer. In his mm -hmm. role as a partner to the woman that he will love and choose, he needs to be an answered prayer even to his children as a father. Mm -hmm. You know and. That is going to be dependent on the life skills that I give to him. But mm. also, largely, mm. it's going to be dependent on me allowing him to make mistakes okay. and being okay with it. Mm -hmm. But not normalizing things that are abnormal and calling him to order, mm. you know. Um, when I feel as though he's exhibiting traits that are toxic mm -hmm. or he is... Um, or in whatever space he was in, he was passed on a toxic baton. Mm -hmm. I need to be able to be in a position where I can remove that one from him and give him a healthy one. To be however, like trading it out. Yeah, but however, I can only do so much. Hey. Because as an adult, uh. you get to a point where you are the one that's now taking responsibility for your life True. and for your actions. If you realize at 28, at 32, at 40, Jesus, some men at 55, <laughs> that you don't, you literally don't have the capacity capacity or you don't have the skills and the tools it now then becomes your responsibility yes you are not taught how to be a good husband you need to now actively find a mentor find literature find ted talks books mm -hmm. we mm. live in an in, in, in an era where there's so much information spoil for choice rewrite your narrative it is your responsibility Whew. and that's it thank you so much for listening Kuli. Uh, mainstream. Yes, yes. Yeah. Who's Cooley? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, um, I think this has actually been a beautiful time and a beautiful talk. I pray that people do not blow this out of context and actually just take from it what we have mentioned because I think we've touched on a lot. We have. And not only just touched on it, but elaborated at length so people actually get to understand. And with this day and era, what more do you want? Pixes, thank you so very much. For May the Lord keep you. May the Lord Amen. cause his face to shine upon Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Amen.